Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I went to Team Sport Nottingham and took part in my first members event. Today's event was a last cart standing which is an hour long event. The first 10 minutes are qualifying and the remaining 50 minutes is a grid started race. After 40 minutes of the race the cart at the back gets black flagged and it keeps going until there's just one cart left. This was my first proper event and there were a lot of great drivers in this session. I expected to be at the back of the grid for this but it was more for experience and just to see what lines the others took and how they raced. This was my fastest lap in qualifying. I got a 34.334 which put me 9th on the grid which I was quite happy with. So here we are lining up on the start grid. I tried to angle my cart slightly inwards to cut off drivers behind me into turn 1. Lights come on and we get ready to go. The full greens come on very quickly and I get caught napping a bit so quickly lose a place as we go three wide down into turn one. I submit that position and try to make it back into the hairpin. Get up the inside of P9 but lose all momentum up the ramp. Alongside P10 now and have to give him the place back as we go down the ramp and I try to stick it around the outside but that left the door wide open for P12 to come up my inside and I lose that place leaving me sat in P12 halfway down into lap one. Take an awful line into and out of the final corner so I lose ground. What a shocking first lap that was. I remember telling myself at this point, right I'm at the back, but that means I don't have to constantly look over my shoulder and defend so I can just focus on racing. Skip forward to lap 6, I'm still behind P11, but on the final corner again I lose grip and spin. I was so frustrated with myself because I felt like I had good pace and I feel like I could have made it into the top 10. You can see P11 here and if you time it you can see that I'm over 6 seconds away from P11 at this point. Skipping forward a few laps, you can see that I've closed the distance to P11, but I still have time to make up. Skipping forward a few laps, the race leader catches up and I have to let him pass. Then P2 comes through the following lap. and even P3 and P4 as well. I realise I have a bit of space now that they're through so I can get my head down and focus on chasing down P11. Here you can see P11 on the right and at this point I'm about 9 seconds away. A few laps later I see P11 at the end of the start finish straight. Skip forward 5 laps and I'm a bit closer.
and if we fast forward another three laps, I'm right behind him. I spent a while watching him race, trying to figure out where his weak points were to see if I could utilise them. I noticed a couple of gaps here and there, but I get a good run out of the back straight, so when we got to the last corner, he went a little wide and I snuck up the inside. So now I needed to defend, as well as keep driving at my previous pace. I thought it was all going alright until... This was annoying because I thought I had that hairpin down. Are you sure about that? But I made a mistake under pressure. I know I had better pace so I just needed to carry on and find another gap. Not long later, this gap opens up, but what do I do? Drive straight into the back of P11. Don't know what I was thinking. A lap later, desperately trying to find another gap, and P11 was defending well. I noticed some carts coming up to lap me, so I had to give them the race in line. This opened up a bit of space between me and P11, but I assumed it would have closed again after he let them through. You can see P11 a few seconds up the road having let the through the carts. I knew there wasn't long left so I really had to buckle down if I didn't want to finish last. Jump forward a couple of laps and I noticed the marshal was pulling out a flag. I managed to close a bit on P11 but ultimately it wasn't enough. Considering it was my first proper event I'm quite happy with how it went. Yes, I came last, but it made me realise new areas I need to focus on, including overtaking, letting faster carts through without losing much time, and also track limits. The fastest lap was a 33.437, which is a whole second faster than my previous. So this is definitely the environment to learn and improve. I'm looking forward to doing more events like this, and hopefully being able to battle with more people in the future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.